हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ प्रिया शनोय असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम चांगू कना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल ऑटोनॉमस वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टॉपिक ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम्बेडेड सिस्टम्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड वॉट एन एम्बेडेड सिस्टम इज वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एन एम्बेडेड सिस्टम a typical example and how we can use an embedded system so uh, continuing further now we will be discussing how an embedded system is different from general purpose computer system uh, so let's start with it uh, see first we will start with what a general purpose computer system is uh see general purpose computer system will be basically consisting of microprocessor a large memory uh, the memory will be of two kinds it will be primary memory as well as the secondary memory then uh, there will be some input units such as keyboard mouse scanner etc then it will be having the output units such as your lcd screen video monitor etc networking unit and base, uh, main part is the operating system so here if you uh, consider then this uh, general purpose computer system is somewhat having the same components as that of the embedded system in embedded system we had said that it will be having hardware basically a uh, microprocessor will be there it will also be having the input and the output units uh, but operating system may or may not be present so uh, let's discuss point wise how your general purpose computer system is much much different from the embedded system uh, see first your general purpose computer system is combination of generic hardware and a general purpose operating system that will be used for executing variety of applications whereas your embedded system will be combination of special purpose hardware and the operating system may be embedded that will be uh, used for executing only specific set of applications then uh, as we said just now operating system may uh, or may not be present in case of it may or may not be present in case of an embedded system whereas in general purpose computer operating system will be there then uh, next uh, your uh, general purpose uh, computer system it uh, in that your applications are alterable or they will be programmable by the user end user can install or he can reinstall the operating system he can add some uh, application software he can remove the existing uh, application softwares as well so but here in case of embedded system the firmware is pre programmed and it is non alterable by the end user this is the main difference between general purpose computer system and an embedded system i'll repeat the same thing in case of your general purpose computer system the applications are programmable they are they can be changed by the user whereas in case of embedded system your firmware uh, will be pre programmed and it cannot be changed by the end user then uh, here performance will be the key factor whereas in case of an embedded system there uh, apart from the performance there will be application specific requirements such as it uh, in some cases performance may be the main key factor in some another cases power requirements may be the uh, basic key factor as well so uh, next going to the next point 
here uh, in case of general purpose computer system it is not at all tailored or even if it is tailored it's less tailored towards uh, reduced operating power requirements there will be options for different levels of power management in case of an embedded system it is highly tailored to take the advantage of power saving mo uh, modes supported by the hardware and the operating system so if we will consider the power consumption point then in case of general purpose it is less tailored towards operating the power requirements whereas embedded system is highly tailored then uh, in case uh, in case of uh, general purpose computers response requirements are not time critical though performance was the key factor response time was not the uh, it was not time critical whereas in case of embedded system for certain category uh, if we will uh, such as uh, mission critical systems or if we will consider satellites then their response time requirement is highly critical or it is highly important <coughs> 